Ooh, what's up everyone? This is Sand Sight 91, back once again for some more Let's Play Blue Dragon. In the last part, we finished off the rest of the underground hospital with a boss fight against a two-headed ice fire wolf. Makes sense of that if you try. And we found out that the Devi tribe has been plagued by Nene in an attempt to get a potion that seems to have done fuck all to him. In this part, we're going to start off by finding Marumaru up in this cave area to see where we need to head off to in any kind of attempt to rectify this situation. Long ass intro. Yeah, let's, let's try and find him somewhere in here. I'm not trying to be mean to him. Get off my ass. I'm not the one who plagued your fucking society. Hell, I didn't barely even know that your society existed. Let's try to get all these treasures before we head out. The ones that we can actually get, anyway. Yeah, he's gotta be somewhere in here. Yeah, you're the same one. Yeah, I really don't get the whole pot on head dealy. Yeah, it's their culture, so I won't bitch too much about it. Why is everything locked? Shu's right about that, Maru Maru. We can use magic. We'll try healing magic. And if that doesn't work, we'll go back to those ruins and try some other medicine. Okay? Maru Maru? Huh? I remember seeing these symptoms before. You have? Some people who a rash just like this. The color and the way it spreads were the same. They said they touched a poisonous flower in the forest. He gave them an infusion from the leaf of this flower, and the poison went away. So we just look for that leaf then. Where is it, Luke? Where do we find it? I'm sorry. I don't know where. Oh, man! Well, what do you expect? I mean, I was just a little girl back then. I saw that plant in the forest of the dead, south of here. In the marshes in the deepest part of the forest, all over the paths. Maru Maru, let's go find it together. Okay. Maru was out hunting when the sickness came upon our village. <coughs> Three days ago, a fog seeped into the village. It was violent, just like the cloud we saw. Whoever touched the fog got sick. Maro heard that Mommy and Daddy had collapsed and went back to the village. Got back and didn't know what happened. And all Maro could think was to get food that would give them strength. So Maro left the village again. Then he appeared in front of Maro. He said that a secret elixir in an ancient underground hospital would save the village. There was no choice. To save Mommy and Daddy and everyone else, Maro had to swallow the light. 
So now Moro has this weird shadow of magic and can use the magic to operate the machine. But then... just go and get it himself. Because I think a famous person said, what's the point of power if you don't use people? Let's get the hell out of here before we catch this crap. Now we finally have our fourth member of the team, and I'm saying this right now, he's the only non-human member. Really weird. And thankfully, he gets caught up with the rest of us, so he's at the exact same level as everyone else. What now? Head right all the way. Okay. Finally, some direction. We just went underground, so now we gotta go right deep into a forest. Yeah, I already showed that off. Thank you. Then why are you showing me this now? Right now, loud. Oh, for Christ's sake, you don't need to go through all of them! And explain them myself, and I, I can never use stun bomb. That thing is like useless. Oh, we got some evil. Look, these are the same thing as Caddy did, except they're colored differently. Well, I never fought him before, so I might as well get this over with. And Maromaro's first job is the monk class. Which specializes in physical might. I believe the less stuff you have equipped to that class, the stronger you'll be. Rather basic stuff, really. I'm sure that we're going the way of a forest, so all I'm seeing is mountain range. It's a right all the way, so best not to take his advice for granted. Oh, I've fought you guys before. Oh, what the hell are you? Fucked up fish. Fish with swords. Well, this shouldn't take too long. And just like with magic attacks, you can actually charge up your attack power. Not very effective. Just had to slip that one in. If they give out decent SP. I think the more SP that something dishes out, the less likely it is to show up. And we got crabs all over the place. Let's try and not run into anything that could possibly nuke us in one shot, shall we? Not the necklace. Oh yeah, that's right, I better... I gotta start equipping Maro now. Or not. Apparently he comes free packaged with all the crap that we have. And a strike fish. It looks like a nerf football with the fins. Just drop of the damn things.
Wouldn't have known that I'd be punching fish in the middle of a marsh. Always with the paranoid look on you, Luke. First golden poo we see in a while. Instead of an apocalypse moth, we have ancient ones. Which somehow means they're stronger. So let's try to wipe these things out as fast as possible. Now let's do a regular one. Only I don't even need the regular, the regular charged version. You just finish them. You see Morrow's ending animation where he just dances. Basic stuff. Always on the lookout for treasure chests. Don't be gone. I hope I'm heading in the right direction. There's not many other places I could be going to. Yeah, let's drop the ghost crab. Like one of the few things we haven't seen or fought. And it goes down in one shot. I may be a bit overloaded for this place. Does he have to squeak every time he jumps? Yeah, I'm heading to the wrong goddamn location. The guy said head right. This is not the right location. Does look pretty though. Well, maybe this will lead us to the forest. This has to have a maze like structure, and that's poo! Those are poo crabs. Freaking really? There has to be crap in all of this. Why does the poo cat to have a mouth? Just why? And since they only have crap for shells, be able to bust through them quite easily. Like so. Cover that small hit that they actually managed to land on me. a bit of defensive boost. I don't believe I mentioned this yet, but our max party is pretty much going to be five people. So it's kind of going to end up like what happens in Final Fantasy IV. I think that's the max I've ever seen in the Final Fantasy game. Meditation, I believe that heals you. Just to be sure. No, he does. Apparently, he's learned everything off screen. Yeah, restore your HP and get rid of any status ailments. That on him. Give him some black and white magic, and he's good to go. But he doesn't have the the skill things that these guys do. Pretty sure he can become. No, he can't become one either. Eh, yeah, give it time. We'll get it eventually. We've got a rotten jellyfish over here. We take on everything that we can. And attack in the back. Unless... That didn't do very much, now did it. 
Why does that have a rod inside of itself? Just beat their jelly-filled heads in. Pretty easy stuff. But again, I may be just a bit overleveled for this. For a Don't do that shit to me! Getting all kinds of stuff that I'm probably gonna end up selling. Damn it. You can get through them quite easily just by punching them in the face, or lack thereof. Oh, she's an item on him. Not too bad. Anyone else back here? Simply no. Should be just a straight shot. More jellyfish and poo. I love that counter though. I believe there you do get a skill later on that guarantees a counter. Here it's just randomized. Or Occasionally happens. Apparently, those cutlass fishers are the hardest things to hit. Jeez. It took like four of my guys just to put them down. That. I believe that adds an additional level to the generalist class. Journalists by one day. Is that for all of them? Yes. Wait until we get our final person before we start using any of those items. Just to be sure no one's lacking in any sort of area. I passed the two crabs. Oh, we got a board sword, broad sword fish. Armor. I can use that to my advantage. By boiling him alive. Achoo! Does do decent damage, though. Everyone using fire on your ass. Something tells me a physical attack ain't gonna be enough. Right in the sweet spot. And right in your face. Anyone for grilled fish? Oh, he drops nothing. Out here. Press mix box. Alright, what's to put in? Let's put in. Oh, wait. Grand like this. Yeah, I can only use it once, unfortunately. So you're gonna get. A single healing item, a multiple healing item, or you know, I'll pop you this one. It's gonna be short anyway. Plus, we get the piece of the poo sticks again. Get the single healing item and key, multi healing item, or yeah, I think it's the Smack that poo. Oh, these things are doing all the way out here. This field is only without its other poo brethren. I thought I'd ever had the chance to say that. Get me out of this crap infested cove. Nice lunge, moron. You kind of missed. You know, other than Shu, I never really understood why they got the shadows that they did. Kind of fitting for Shu because he's the main character and thus should get the 
titular blue dragon. Other ones, I have no clue. Put in another one. Put it low down. Low down. Low down. And you get stuck with what you got. Did you get some earring back before this? Water earrings. Water resistant. Defense increases defense and next defense. Who has the lowest? Solve that problem quick. Go around here first. Do not. Take me from the way. Ah! Fuck! Kick! Go around the back way. You'll never suspect a thing. Nothing for you this rank. Definitely starting to run low on MP. Perhaps I should have threw in that shadow crystal. Push mark and It doesn't exactly explain very much. Well, it can't be that important, now can it? Also, if you use water on the poo crabs, it washes their shells away. Right now, only I can do the back attacks. And now he's poisoned. I can heal this besides magic of the And draw you have a nose. At least I may have plenty of shadow crystals. Now that should hold us off for a while. Zoom some light ones too. Or just one. Or we'll be fine. This is no fun game until someone gets a shadowy fist in the eye. He's the man close to the exit. I remember there being a boss here. God, get the hell out of here, ghost crabs. Time for this. Hello. Green barn. Yeah, it's kind of too low for us. Of course, they're going to go right to me. Everyone up first. It's gonna be a long one. 